So if we don't, if, uh, if number six doesn't fill up, uh, what we'll do is, or what we normally do is we just refund everybody who, who got into it. Yeah, there's some there's some decent artifacts and stuff like that in here. Um, there's a there's a bunch of it's kind of all strewn amongst it. Uh, I think some of the better uh, trying to think of what would be a oh, the messages here. Be the best out of colorless. That's a good question. All right, so here we go. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna move. Is that better? There we go. Okay. Foil Rider. And we start with the Cosmos Charger. Moonstone. Steel. What you got? What's this? Oh. That's the Loki. So this is the Loki, apparently. Here, we'll, we'll leave it right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, some of these Macs just don't want to open. Fortel token. Actually, I'm going to shrink this. Trickery. That's a nice card. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> Blessing of Frost. Ventral Reaper. This is, yeah, box break number five. And again, we will keep going if they keep selling out. Uh, if number seven sells out, we will put up a number eight. Ooh, nice foil three seasons. And followed up by a rally of the ranks. be having uh next week we will be doing uh collector's booster box breaks uh those are going to be pretty wild um and uh set boosters also on top of that oh well that's that's not a bad start that's mr loki that's a good uh that's a good one we're gonna have to move uh, these guys out of the way <laughs> well, you were right, it was in the box. It just wasn't in the pack. Well, there might be one in this pack still. So, yep. Crazy thing about Loki is the fact that he, uh... You can hit him off Cascade of two. Which is, which is insane. Which, uh, makes Jun terrifying. And, uh... Just another thing is any if anybody's interested in tracing, um, that's actually a good one. I'm going to have to find out. We'll go off the ruling of uh, what the card is legally in Magic, if it would be considered a multi or a black card. Um, I'm not 100% sure, so I don't want to say anything without knowing exactly. Um, but I will I'll get a judge. Uh, actually, Scott, if you're still here, 
I know it might be a conflict of interest on that one, but we'll double check it. But uh, Search for Glory, another great card. I bel I, I want to say, yeah. Yeah, I believe it's a considered a multicolored card. But again, I will I will definitely have to. I want to get like a 100% judging or ruling on that one. Nice. A braggy. Tight shaper. Yeah, because it would be any of the colors on the front face, right? Would be... I think that's how that... Yeah, because I think uh, Pathways also, because it does have both the symbols on it. But, again, we will definitely get a judge call on that one. Uh, crippling Fear. So I believe that would put the, uh, the multicolor uh, spot really high up on the list. Nice. Righteous Valkyrie. Yeah, the bottom left of the card, it has... Uh, it does have the... Uh, right over here again. It does have the mana symbols. Four Tybalt on it. for Brighton Crab. And just to let all the, uh, all the new viewers here, because we're getting a bunch from all over the place here, welcome to the stream, after the Fallen, and a Pathway. Nice, this is the Green Blue, aka the Moses Pathway. Trying to get that the stick. That's nice. That's very nice. I'm sure we'll put that up there with Loki. Because uh, pathways are gorgeous. Oh, let's see. We got a notification here. Okay. We did drop a few. Okay. Oh, we were still good. And foil as a foil fin the fair bearer, fair fang bearer, blah. followed by a rise of the dread, and then a herald. This is the altar pack. Another another uh, god of freight. Man, we are just smashing the gods tonight. The alt art god of, god of freight. That will go to Scott, I believe. Yep. That's gorgeous. And the art on that one here, I'll show the back on it. The art on this one's just amazing with the lantern. Yeah, this is the second one tonight. We haven't uh, we actually haven't gotten a normal one. Because it's a, that's a bad thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> that's what we want. Uh, the first one was not foil. Yeah, it was not. It was just a, it was just a, a normal, uh, normal one like that. Link chasm. Followed up by a big old vampire dragon. I love the love the alt art on that one. 
Betrayer King. It's just, just gorgeous. I think we got a couple of them in foil. They're just phenomenal. Elvis Warmaster. Elvish Warmaster. Giants. Saw it coming. Saw that coming from a mile away. Three line. Raven form. Ooh, in foil. That's really nice. Followed by Ascendant Spirit, which is also really nice. This is the only target out there dragons to be. That's a good question. Is it is it just blood or is it just dra like dragon blood or can you can you go with anything? Like I don't know. That's a that's a good question. Uh, Master Sculpt, foil. Followed up by a showdown of the skulls. Wow, this is a very singing pack. Ignore my terrible, terrible jokes. You're laughing on the inside. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Sarcasto. <laughs> Doomscar. New Wrath of God. I don't know how I feel about this one. I like the for like I like the foretell mechanic. I really do. Yeah, Skyrim was well. You know, if it's not really Skyrim because it's just North mythology, right? Because uh, Dark Age Camelot had skulls as a playable class. Back in the day, if anybody remembers that. Oh, what a great game that was. Snow-covered plains, followed by another pathway. Very nice. This is the black-red pathway. We haven't seen any uh, any fuller pathways yet, now that I've probably changed it. Our bear wall, our grumble grumble. <laughs> Boomer, hey, oh, come on. That's that's a little uncalled for. I'm not a boomer. Man, ouch. Just because I played a good MMO. You kids get off my lawn. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Tyrate Sanction. Sanctum. Another really fun card. Let's make let's make bear gods. Bear gods. <laughs> I do have some some bias towards bears as I play a bear deck. Star Wars: The Old Republic. Was that the online? What was the online one that they ended up ruining? Good old Sony or EA. Like the game was great, and then they just absolutely hosed it. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Tyler, um, congratulations, sir. That is Galaxy Jet. Yeah, that is a Phyrexian Voren click. That is insane. I'm just going to put that in asleep right now. It's not foil. Uh, I think, I don't know if you can get them foil. I think you can, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, here's a top loader. That is absolutely gorgeous. I wasn't sure if we were able to get him. That is proof in the pudding. Yeah, this guy is, is not cheap. That is insane. Uh, I'm going to have to move these guys here. They are definitely getting replaced. But, oh, I need something that... We're going to have to hold that up. Ba -ba -ba. I don't know how to put this over here. Perfect. Yeah, that's a uh, hide it. <laughs> That's uh, here. Let's finish that pack. But holy smokes, that's that's insane. Uh, I I don't know. I don't think we can top that. That is uh, a foil one is the only way to top that, I believe. 
Yeah, that is insane. Insane. That's right, Kenneth. That's that's worth about. Yeah, about 145, I think. Yep. Oh, jeez. You know what? Let's follow it up with a foil rare. Blood in the snow. Yeah, I think he's only in the collector boxes in foil, but you know what? If you can get him non-foil in your normal box, that's I think that's cool. Oh, Waking of the Trolls. Yeah, the foil one's ridiculous. It's like four or five hundred dollars right now. Sweet. Got a spot in number seven there. Let's see if we can pull another uh another horn clicks like that out of the max box too. That's crazy. Oh, a back to back foil rare, sure. Reckless crew. With the the sneaky sneaky squirrel. Your squirrel commander has arrived. Yeah, I need to get one of those uh, one of those Warren clicks for uh, for my bear deck. Quake bringer. Oh, that's a myth. Right up there. Great hole. Oh, love the art on that. The Watcher. Dream Devourer. Another really, I think, an under, under, uh, underappreciated card. Giving everything you had foretell to get it out of your hand and protect it. I don't know, man. That's that's pretty legit. So I believe once it's in Fortel, it stays there even if he goes away. Um, I don't know if there's any judges in the chat that might be able to let me know how I'm if I'm right on that one or not. Has there been an artifact yet? Uh, we've had uh, like as a rare. That's a good question. I will check. If you if you end up getting uh, getting snubbed, I'll. Uh, I'll throw a little something extra in there for you. I've got stuff. I got some promos and stuff I can hand out. Tundra Fun for Roll. Oh, got foil there. Elder Leaf Mentor, Blood in the Snow, non foil. They will stay, okay, that's what I thought. Which makes it really, really good because it's also it's a special ability, so you can, you can get them out of your hand. Nice. A God of Voyage. Replicator Ring, still love this card. For those long, uh, long drawn out games, definitely helps protect you with, uh, for mana. Replicator Ring. Splendid Marshal. Path of the World Tree. Shepherd of the Cosmos. And the Troll Slayer. Yeah, the, uh, just so you know, the, it says there's eight on the top. I think so. Where is it? Right there. Right where, right where spots left. Um, I have to manually update that, and I'm not able to see it right now. So I can uh, I can do a quick check to see where we're at for that. Oh, nice! A foil flooded plain. That's gorgeous. I love these new uh, quote unquote dual lands. The bear of Lajara. Elvish bow. Stone. Let me actually, I'll just double check now, see where we're sitting. Those. Yeah, giving everything foretell is, uh, is kind of crazy. Um, 
super powerful. Just, I think, in my opinion, like, being able to get it out of your hands so you're not able to... What's that? Oh, is it better now? So, two... So we have five spots left for number seven. Let's see here. Ooh, oh, shoot. Now I'm just messing everything up. Did that update? I think that updated. Yep. Okay. Five spots left, and then I'll check again uh, in the end. And if we uh, give it a little bit of time to, don't have to jump into it right away. Five or ten minutes to see if she'll fill up. Ooh, the Rao meter. That's a nice one too. This is another strong card. Again, this 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 set is just full of craziness, beautiful art, and powerful things. Kennel Master, followed up by a Dragonkin Berserker. Four packs left. Nice, Blood Sky Sire. That's a fun little card. Okay, Havoc, I'll, uh, it's up to you. If you want to go that route, we can. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll do that next to see if it, ooh, nice, the altar kitty chariot with bigger kitties. Bigger kitties. Wow, <laughs> with bigger kitties. Oh, I need sleep. Really nice there. Replicating ring. Trolls there. And Elvish Bow. Highlight Force. Raven's Warning. Oh, that makes sense. Your cat's <laughs> becomes a kitty. <laughs> Okay, so this was a, this was a Loki. <laughs> that was the prediction on this one, I believe. All right, here we go. Oh, I know that it's a Loki. Is that foil? It's not foil. However, it is still it's still a uh, uh, what's it called? A planeswalker. That's not bad. I'd say it's pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good pull. That's a nice way to finish it up. So I have to say the, uh, the prediction was pretty good on that one. Okay. Let's do a recap here. Those are foil rares. A quick mythic recap. Again, got a lot of really good pulls in this box. Uh, okay, that definitely deserves to be there. Okay, so it looks like it was a five mythic box. Um, obviously, 
the gem is this absolutely beautiful card. Tyler, let me know if you want to trade that one in. 